You know what the fuck going on, big Texas shit. It's your girl Casey J. Just had a dope interview with real life street stars. Y'all make sure y'all check it out. Everybody start clapping right now. Legendary shit in the building. Casey J, what's going on, baby? What's going on? What's going on? Man, I'm feeling great. We finna go all the way through there with it, man. One of the most legendary rap battlers in this thing. You know, just give us a couple of accolades, you know what I'm saying? If take them through mm. that real quick. Just give them a quick, quick rundown, you know what I'm saying? Quick rundown. Okay, most battle, female battles on URL. Okay. Um, I'm tied with Miss Hustle, you know what okay. I'm saying? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Let's just go recently. Let's just go rec just recently did um, the Netflix battle with Miss Hustle. Um, what can I say? I mean, like, first female on the champion cover. Yeah. The face. You know what I'm saying? The only female really putting on for Texas battle rap in a major way. So it's a lot that I could run down, but that's just like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? A little quick. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. A little quick. See, all right, we're going we, we to take it from the top because the first time you've been on the platform, Texas based platform. So you know we had to come get KCJ around this bitch, man. Tell us, like, where, where are you from? Like, where did you, like, put your feet on the ground as far as when it came to rapping? San Antonio is where I'm from. That's why I, that's why I grew up raised. I was originally like born in Mississippi. My family from Louisiana, but San Antonio is where I would say, you know, I'm from. Um, I started rapping for real, like when I was nine in San Antonio. I made my first mixtape at 14. Damn. You know what I'm saying? What was the name I, of the mixtape? I, I didn't even have a name for it, but I was, I was, who won one? You know what I'm saying? I was selling them hoes. I used to rap for people for two dollars. Like I always had a passion for rapping. Ever since like I was a little kid, I was writing. I, words was always my thing. Like even like all my tattoos are basically words, but like, so you, you always want uh, words with friends. You just always kill niggas ass, huh? <laughs> I ain't even. I don't know. I wasn't no. even playing. I wasn't even playing that game. I was writing some rap. No, but um, I did that, and then I came to college. I played basketball in college all through all through school. I ran track, played. I was an athlete. Um, and then after that, words, I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna try something different. And I was rapping, rapping. Then. I ended up doing a battle on DFW Battle Rap League here in Dallas. Shout and out, shout out DFW Battle Rap League. Right, shout them out. And the person I was supposed to battle wasn't didn't come. So like, I forgot what's his name, Sevy. He just he just like that was his name. Okay, so I just battled him, and he like freestyled every round, and I just did my round. This was my first time in the battle rap, but I was always a battle rap fan. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But this was my first time being a battle rapper. I was like, I could write. I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And I would make music, but this is my first time being a battle rapper. After that, like two weeks later, New York called, hey, Casey, you want to come up here and do a sparring session? Off the first battle? Off the first battle. After that, it all took off, and that's how that's how it really happened. That was the start of me being a battle rapper. That's crazy. So, yeah. okay. So, at that time, right, you're doing music. You jump in the ring, and it goes from zero to 100. Do you be like, okay, I'm going to shift my focus to battle rap, or were you still trying to dibble and dabble in the, the rap world, too? At, or? at the time, I was focused on both. I was, like, trying to make music and battle rap, but that was kind of hard and complicated because, like, I would write some fire shit for rap. I'd be yeah. like, nah, let me take this to the battle. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you're losing material for your, for your uh, music, and then um, you're putting it into your battle rap, and then as you become bigger in battle rap, it gets harder. It gets more consuming. You know what I'm saying? So it's like everything is going towards that. Yeah. Now, do you recall the first battle rap that you seen that made you just fuck with it? Because for me, I was like on YouTube and then like Young Ill versus T-Rex came up and then I went on that. And then, you know, it's like the person that they battle each other, you become a fan of them too. Then you right. start watching they battle yeah. you become a fan of whoever they battle. Yeah. Who was it for you that was like, oh shit, now they hard. It was a -ver versus Hollow the Darn. Oh, uh, yes. A after that, that, I was, was like... I can remember exactly where I was. I was 16 years old in my English English class, watching it on YouTube. I'm like, oh my God, like niggas is really rapping like hard yeah. than a bitch. Like, so I was like a fan ever since then. And Aver was my go ever since then. Like, you know what I mean? And and not only that, he like showed that 
you could break through because you know he from the Midwest. Wow. Yeah. So and battle rap was mainly a north like north yeah, east, coast, east type. coast type thing. And he was the first person to show like we could break through and we could rap too. So what's up? So after that, I was like, oh niggas, I'm coming. That's how I'm coming. So, so I'm gonna put you on the spot just off the rip. Um when you first started, who did you like and who do you like now as far as URL, King of the Dot, or RBE? It's been URL through the whole thing, but I would say yeah, grind yeah. time to be yeah, grind time, grind time to there. start grind with. Time in there. Yeah, grind time to start with. I think that's what I first was seeing, and then Queen of the Ring, yeah. and then yeah. it was URL. Yeah, because yeah. I ain't gonna lie, back then King of the Dot had they had some fire ass trailers. Yeah. That shit looked like movie trailers. I was yeah, like, God, that shit was damn. like, whoa. That, that shit was like, whoa, man. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, A Verb was my favorite, um, and it was Young Ill. It, like, really, I like the whole uh, Midwest movement. Exactly. And, and, and then the thing about battles back then, it seemed like they really didn't like each other. Like, it seemed like it was real animosity. Um, when you got in the game, did, is that what you thought it was? Like, definitely. And it was that. It was it was real animosity. Like at first, like especially for the females, because it's few and far between for us, for real. Yeah. But. It really felt like it was real beef. Niggas was really plexed up. Like you said, you could rap better than me. What are you talking about? Like you could feel that different type of, you know, energy in those battles. That's why a lot of people say like, oh, battle rap's a little bit commercial now, or the feeling is gone from it because it's it's not as like organic as it used to be. No pun intended. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> Mars. Now, so, so so let's talk about it then. Let, let's yeah. jump right in there, man. Uh, you did a battle recently with uh, uh, my verse. Yeah. Um, that just dropped. That was crazy. And yeah, here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. We, we're, we're used to battles where you're going at each other's necks, and I'm watching this like, man, it's just the utmost respect, even mm. though the bars are still there. But it's more so going bar for bar with respect towards each other, and it wasn't going at each other's throats. That was the funnest thing I ever did. I'm gonna say, how fun was that writing for that? It the like. Writing for it was fun because it's like you don't have to worry about what they're going to say to you. Yeah. you. You know you coming up there to get, you know, complimented or like uplifted, shit like that. So writing, the only thing, the only difference was just like m wanting to still have those bars and the same content in your like in your material as like if it was a regular battle. Facts. That's basically it. And I tried to add some haymakers in there. I tried to yeah. add some like yeah, hard hitting bars and stuff like that, as well as uplift her. And honestly, that event was probably the, my favorite event Damn. in my career. So wait, wait, wait. So, so, so do you feel like, uh, like that could even happen cr crossover to like the male category to where men just, uh, just compliment each other up for three rounds? I don't know if it could really yeah, be that way. <laughs> Where the fuck you get them shoes from? Yeah, nah, <laughs> nah, them tough. But nah, I don't think that that's gonna be like a thing for battle rap, you know. Yeah. But in, in you know, in honor of Pat Stay, we definitely did that for him because you know he yeah. did the verse first um, compliment battle, and I tried to channel his energy for that, and so did she. And I feel like we put in on a great show, so y'all make sure y'all go. Yeah, yeah we you know man. So speaking yeah, of Pat, run that up. since you're on the uh, the Pat Stay man, you know Pat Stay. For me, when I seen him, like he was one of the people that made me watch King of the Dot. Like yeah. he was like whatever T Rex is to URL back then, or you know yeah. whatever. He was that for. And then how was that you being a battle rapper to see somebody that big get killed that way? Like <sighs> it was just like very eye opening. Like life is so short, and like you just gotta treasure the moments that you have with with people and. Pat was such a sweet person, like, even though, yeah. like, you know, battle rap shit, you got to put on, you know what I'm saying, like, a certain type of energy, but, like, he was just a, a, a great person to be around, and he always light, lit up the room anywhere he went, so, like, to see him go like that, it was, I was in disbelief. No, at definitely. first, like I was like, that's that it can't be true. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's everybody's first reaction. Yeah, and for those that, you know, don't know, you know, of course, he was, um, I think he's from Canada, right? Yeah. But yeah, and he was, of course, stabbed, um, you know, at 36 years, 36 years old. So definitely rest in peace to past day, man. He was one of the coldest. How important do you feel like, you know, when people put these bars together and they're no longer either here or they're no longer, they just quit battle rap. Let's just say they quit. How important do you know, for this for the up and coming battle rappers, that you should put your all into each bar, each round, because this is legacy you're, mm. you're, you're leaving. For battle rap, it's a little tough. It's... it's it's more so you do have to put everything into everything you do because you don't know when the next time you'll get on that stage and you'll be able to 
perform. And not only that, once you leave that stage, you can't repeat that shit. You can't, you can't reuse your material. Why would you not want to go all out for the only time that you can say your material? So I feel like, and then, and then battle rap is so much so what you did for me lately. Like you could have a bad battle last year, but if you come and show your ass tonight, oh, we love you again. You know what I'm saying? So it's super important for you to come every time. Like it could be your last because it could be your last. You could die crazy and niggas don't ever want to see you again. Like Niggas get 303 oh, oh, nigga what? Oh my god, they is not calling to book you. I promise. You know what I'm saying? So like you better go crazy every time cuz anybody everybody like wants to take your spot. Everybody want to take your spot. What would you say is the most devastating bar you've dealt a person? The wait, say that again. Ask me the again. most devastating bar you've dealt a person in Ooh, the battle. Oh my god. Probably to a vixen. I was really mean to her that bad one. What, what did you say? Come on, we can go watch him. No, no, no. I don't want to say, I got to say it again. Because look, I'm, 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 I'm the least, I know the least about rap right. battle. So I want to know what, what, what bar could you say that possibly made me want to be, oh shit, Casey J in this Okay, so me and, and, and Vixens, we both have a dad. Both of our dads, clearly. Both of our dads were named David. Both of them died, right? Okay. So... Mine died to gun violence. Hers died in the hospital, right? So I was giving her the, you know what I'm saying, the compare and contrast to that shit. Like, we lived different lives. Right. Like, and then at the end, I was like, you miss your dad. Go, I'm going to, you know, send you with him. Go greet him or some shit like that. So, like, shit, that's how that's, it went. That's, and that was like, you know what I'm saying? But that was a grudge battle. When you have grudge battles, you ain't got time to be nice to nobody. Like, Not for real. Not for real. <laughs> we were talking about um, um, that, like, okay. just... Motherfuckers like will die or some wild crazy shit that happen. Is there any line that you feel that a battle rapper shouldn't go across, or do you feel like everything is fair game? I feel like certain battles battle rappers have a pass, like Arsenal. He can say whatever the fuck he want to say, and niggas are like, "Well, you knew he was disrespectful." You know what I'm saying? Then you have someone like DNA. Why did he go there? Like he's not even that type of rapper. He's just a puncher. So it just really battle rap is so like circumstantial and. It just depends on who you are, for real. And with that being said, what is the most devastating bar that has ever hit you? Like, it really touched you. Like, fuck, I can't even believe. A nigga like, would say that shit to me? Yeah, like, you had My to catch up. Motherfucking Gucci rip. Gotti. He pissed me the fuck off. I'm not going to lie. He oh, made me man. so mad. You can probably see it in my face. No, I ain't going to lie, because, because, right <laughs> hey, what did he say? This nigga, oh my God, so we was in a 100K tournament, UM3, you know, Drake And I think that's where, and I was going to say, I think that's where you and, actually became a superstar. Yeah, player. that's, yeah. Um, Drake put the tournament, and URL came together, put the tournament together, and I was in a final four. I had Geechee Gotti. This right. nigga said, he, second round, he had a fake angle talking about, I'm not a good mom, because I'm out here rapping. Like what, my nigga? Uh, like no, my son can't be wait. with his daddy right quick while I try to win a hundred k. I talked to so many females, and that's like the worst thing you could tell a mother. Yes, that she's not a good mom. Yes. that's like the devastating blow. Bro, that's like hell and it was no. so unexpected. I was never expecting that. Like nobody ever said that to me. So he was smart enough to know. Let me get an angle that she ain't never heard before, and y'all gonna like she gonna feel this shit. And I was feeling that shit. Like I was mad. When he was saying that shit, and then and then they, cause you, once something happened in battle rap, they try to run with it. Right, right. So right. nigga, don't run with this shit. I'm a bad mom. All that shit. I hated that shit. So you had to clear that up. What, what 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 is speaking of like narratives? Cause that's what happens in battle rap. Niggas will just paint these narratives, right? Like um for the, the longest time, the calico skinny dip and shit. Like uh -huh. niggas are just uh, uh, the <laughs> tranny on um Tay Rock. Right. I don't know if none of this is true. What is some of the narratives that they painted on you, which you just told um, me off? Narratives they painted on me. <clears throat> I'm uh, they forced me on everybody. I only I'm only lit because I fuck with certain niggas. Um, uh, shit, like I can't. <laughs> everything like they they. I'm not a good mom. Like it's a lot of shit that they try to paint with me. Um, I wouldn't be lit if I wasn't a Bardashian. Um, why did we, why would I get in the group if I ain't battled them first? Like it was a lot of adversity that I had to overcome. Like as far as like me, when I was at my peak, that's real. Cause real, niggas was mad. I want to stay on the, uh, the hundred K 20 real quick. Um, 
that happened almost, I think almost two years ago today. Damn near. For real? Just about, Damn. Just about. I should check my archives. Um, but twerk. Mm-hmm. Uh, that didn't go the way it's supposed to go. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, ever since, uh, you know, the face off became a thing, I'm always like, you know, you go watch the face off. Like, oh, this is going to be good based on this or that. And um, I was like, I want to see how twerk does against you. And uh, man, that was just an utter, uh, just kind of a disappointment. Mm-hmm. How do you feel? Like, do you feel like you got in his head or you feel like he just didn't come prepared maybe the night before? Yeah, he just didn't come prepared. Um, I feel like maybe the tournament wasn't something that he wanted to do. And maybe like Drake and URL really wanted him to be a part of it. Um, and so like last minute, I was supposed to battle Swave, I believe. Yeah. And he ended up switching it. And I was like, damn, like thrown off because I'm about to battle Twerk and I could really get smoked in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? So coming in, I'm like, bro, like what the fuck? I was nervous. But he definitely wasn't prepared at all. Like, I don't think he really wrote. See, I think he, like, had material. Yeah. And he was trying to piece it together while he was on the stage. So <laughs> after I saw he was choking and shit, I was like, well, this should be a breeze. If I'm going to have a, have a battle in two more weeks, I should spit throwaways. So my performance was ass as well. You know mm, what I'm saying? Yeah. But it was enough to beat him. So do you feel like, and this just in general, when a battle rapper chokes, should they start freestyling or should they just call around? Um, if they can freestyle, they need to freestyle. And and and, and 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 if if right right no if they spit if they spit two minutes you could go ahead and call around you know what I'm saying but at thirty seconds you better start freestyling some shit and niggas gonna know for real. You don't ever want to just bust out laughing. Some of this shit be funny. I'd be like that nigga like really trying to get it back. You be like man fuck. God, <laughs> no. <damn it." laughs> <laughs> Nigga, be that I really like. Be mad, no, for real. You be mad because you be like, I just said this shit, bro. I just said it when I was rehearsing outside. Why well, I can't think of it right now? That should be pissing me off. I, I I had to freestyle a couple times. Now I gotta ask you, Lux versus Calico. Mm. Lux choked. Mm-hmm. He did two rounds. He did. And, and he third now round. the third round he went. He left. He left Earth. How do you grade that? How do, how do you grade battle rap? Ooh. Like, if you choke, is that an automatic L? Because niggas still gave Lux the battle even though he choked because two rounds. Because you know what? It was a different time. Like, Nick, throughout the eras, they changed the goalposts. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, now if you choke, you automatically lose. Like, Lux choked, but he had more memorable moments in the battle. Of course he won the battle. After it, everybody's like, you're going to get this work. <laughs> Nobody was quoting Calico. Right. That's, that's a win, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what this shit was that nigga said? Man, that nigga brought a casket in his bitch, man. Yeah, yeah, he brought a casket. He was more nah, the memorable. Fuck, the fucked up part is Cal- the fucked up part is Calico smoked him. I feel like. And he, Calico had great material and yeah, great rounds. Yeah, he really rounds. did. But I feel like Lux overshadowed him. He did. Yeah. Hey, what, hey, Preaching that uh bullshit ass uh your dad you should daddy should have raised you better ass shit yeah <laughs> I say what, what what's more what's a harder line when they said this you gonna get this work or that's how you talk to your son oh my god ooh that's how you talk to your son yeah that that right there yeah. that right there made that the world that, that made the world that, that made the world like I can't tell you how many times I watched that I watched it bro that nigga said I shoot soon as I get in like I'm J.R. Smith bro hey and I had then just then he remixed it then he remixed bro that made All me a right. fan of that's what I'm saying at that point that was like the, I think the second or third battle I watched that made me a fan of battle rap I was like damn this that, shit look crazy any, right anytime I want to feel inspired I will turn on Aver vs Hitman yeah. Yeah. anytime I'm like that's how you talk to your son I'll be like ah. <laughs> yeah that should yeah. be lit dog. All right, now you gotta give me your top three battle rap moments now ooh in my career or like just, just period let's do both oh, okay in my career my top three versus Miss Merck my third round when the crowd was uh, chanting 3030. Um, that was lit. When they was like, stop, overkill, I was like, nah, I'm gonna beat this hoe up. Fuck that shit. Um, next moment, probably versus DNA in my second round when I was like fighting back and everybody counted me out and I like got to show the world, like, stop playing with me again because everybody always try to play with me. And then third, be battling net, um, on Netflix versus Miss Hustle. So, that's my three. That's you know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. so now now give us your th- top three battle rap moments. Ooh, oh my God. Okay, so we got to say the, um, that's how you talk to your son. Yep. Of course. Um, the seat belt won't buckle up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> another, another cut. Another, another cut. Won't buckle that was, was you there for that? Um, no, I oh, wasn't okay. there for that. I was not there for that. Okay. And then 
uh, uh, surf, of course, press down nine. Down nine. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I, I like yeah. that dot too, though. Yeah. <laughs> With the Which one? Dot! <laughs> that shit was so bullshit. Yeah, no, hey, that that uh, DNA battle. Yes. It was awesome. Thank uh, you. DNA has some bars that I said, man, that, you know, that KC sliding. I was like, yeah, that's electric slide. I said, oh, I can't. it took me a while to even catch it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit, KC the sunshine, man. I said, oh, shit. I just got it. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sometimes it hit you later. He didn't want to play with me. Sometimes it hit you later. So I gotta ask, how do you feel about crowd reactions where crowd gets too far into it? I know uh, Key and Peel made a joke about battle rap fans where they oh, like say bro chill, I ain't say shit. (laughs) How do you feel about the fans that go crazy over lame bars? Okay, it's some fans that overdo it, but the fans that are reacting to the bar genuinely. I appreciate that, in it, in it, especially if they reacted to me. Now, when they reacted to my opponent, I'd be like, ooh, let me not look sour, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm really mad when they be hitting, hitting like, land in a bar. That shit pissed me off, I'd be like, nigga. But DNA, he knew how to come for me. He came crazy for me, and like, that third round was ridiculous. What about, what about the cameraman reacting? What do you feel about it when the cameraman oh, reacts? You never see it, the cameraman be reacting. <laughs> you ever see that? Like, you ever see that viral hey, clip? Hey, yo, you who? What? You ain't never seen that viral clip? It's like, come on, my nigga, you the cameraman. <laughs> my nigga, you chip tripping, bro. Like the cameraman was tripping out. Like he was like, oh, for real? he was like, ooh. No, that's that's happened to me before on a one round battle, and I'm looking at the cameraman like, you know, chill out. You know what I'm saying? Like, the fuck wrong with you? But he was reacting to me, and I was still like. Chill out. Yeah. Fuck wrong with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, shaky your yeah. shit, nigga. I need my shit right. Yeah. You dropping this right? Where you dropping it? But nah, when the cameraman reacts, that's how you know something here for real. That nigga can't even, he got his body. Do you think that a crowd is necessary for a good rap battle to happen? No. No, I am a fan of the closed room, the small room. Y'all got to y'all gotta know I, under, I came up for real in the COVID era where it was nobody in the room, you know what I'm saying? So y'all hearing everything that I'm saying. So like, when sometimes the crowd can throw you off, sometimes, especially if you're not prepared 100%. So like, I feel like you can still have some great battles in a small room. So, so now, uh, also the crowds give you time to recollect yourself though, at Yeah, times. and you also get energy from the crowd too. Right. Yeah, so when that, that big room was closed, people was going crazy because you missed that thrill, that feeling, everything, right. and then it's really, showing who could rap for real right you know what i'm saying because the crowd could be like uh, you know overshadow that shit but if you can't rap for real you're not coming in this closed room you're not coming in this small room like you you wait to the you know what i'm saying to that big shit open up so, so this is what <clears throat> this is what i gotta ask right so you go from dfw battle league shout out everybody over there shout out everybody yeah. got anything to do with battle rap in texas you make it to a big stage right mm-hmm. what is the ex- expectation from the original battle league for you to come back and either host or show love like how does that work now because now you're this superstar right right it, but you but you came from a smaller league and you want to boost them up too how do you weigh the two well you definitely have to support where you came from you know what i mean so i definitely try to show as much love as i can try to you know make sure everybody know i support what my state my city all the cities in Texas for real, but it's it's a hard thing to do being one person, you know what I'm saying? Especially in battle rapping, everybody is wanting to come up fast, you know what I mean? And at this point in time, but I feel like just, just support, showing love, showing face, showing up, you know what I'm saying? Like, of course, if I come back to battle, I'm supposed to body shit. I'm not supposed to have nobody be like trying to go crazy on me. I'm, I'm the face, you feel what I'm saying? So like, yeah. I just gotta, you know, move like that. So tell us about the Bardashians, man. How did that come about? How did you get into it? Who's all, all who's it. all in it? Okay, so um, me, Jazz, and Official, the Bardashian, Bardashian the gang. That's so um, Bardashians became a thing um, versus E Hard and Forty. So what was that? Uh, Summer Impact. Yes, yeah, oh, Summer yeah. Impact. Um, they they called themselves the Bardashians. So that was 2019. Then 2020 came, and before I battled Miss Merck, they was like, Casey, we want you to be a Bardashian too. I was a Bardashian before I started the battle, and it just so happened she forfeited, and they was doing the 3-0 chant. So it was yeah. the same thing that happened versus E-Hard and 40. So it was like we all got that somebody forfeit against us and the 3-0 chant. So 
we've been in Bardashians ever since, and you know what I'm saying? We lit. Honestly, we're the like top girls in no, you know right. female so, battle rap. So, so which Bardashian are you? I'm I'm Kylie Pinner. Oh, <laughs> okay. hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, but don't you think this is like when you like play basketball and it's like, you know, it's one nigga, two nigga, and y'all just get the best nigga. Like, let me get Kobe. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> and like, you know, y'all don't think it's like overkill. Y'all are like the three best, one of the three yeah, best pins in the battle rap league. I Who agree. is fucking with y'all as far as like mm -hmm. team wise? Don't you think I, this ain't no real ain't no real team. Right. No, no team other than us for real. I mean, there might have been like some in the past, but nobody that people would just be like, yo, y'all can stand next to the Bardashians. It would really have to be men. Facts. Yeah. Now, speaking of men, let's go and get into it, man. You know, uh, you know, you look a certain kind of way. Most battle rapper females early on, you know, came in looking, you know, very manly or, you know, studdish, maybe a little bit just to kind of, you know, they jump in the ring to where, you know, it's a male dominated you know, thing, but then more sexier women start coming in and start coming to play. How do you even navigate where, like, you look the way you look, but you still got to, you know, you're going to do your battle, but they're going to probably, you know, shoot shots at you, mm -hmm. try to handle you, you know, treat you like, hey, I'm trying to go out with her later on. You know, right. I'm, I'm trying to talk to this girl for right. real. How do you battle? Because you really want to come at it as a professional, like, right. nah, I'm here for give you all these motherfucking bars, yeah. call it a fucking day. It's a lot of curving you got to do for real. Um, but honestly, like, it's like I said earlier, like they changed the goalposts. Like for girls that rap and they look good, you can't rap and look good. Somebody wrote that shit for you. But oh, if you, you know what I'm saying? But if you a tomboy or you dress a certain way, we believe it. We believe you got more believability. It's like, what? Like, so you then you have to go through the ridicule of whatever people have to say about what you got on, your hair, your makeup, your mind you. Bitches ain't even put on no makeup, no no, no clothes. They're like, ah, right, but she fire though. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she fire. Let me come not dress the fuck up. They're going to be like, ooh, something wrong with Casey. She going through it. She down she bad. Going through it. She down you know what I'm bad. saying? Like, so it's a certain, it's a different level that you have to be at to, to have all that shit, like the full package. And then niggas want to, you know, use that, especially in battle rap, against you. Yeah. How you use against me that I, I want to be a girl for real and rap, you know what I'm saying? You want to you wanna say, oh, somebody had to write that shit for her. She can't rap like that because she's too pretty. So being too pretty is a thing in battle rap. That's crazy. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. Like, have you ever dated a battle rapper? Because what happens is I see, and you don't have to name names. I'm just, but but what happens is name sometimes they'll use that against you. Name, name. Like uh, what is it, John John? They always bring you fuck this girl and this. Um, be like God, damn. Early on, early on, I did experience a, a relationship with a battle rapper. It didn't last too long, but this was like my probably my second year battle rapping. Okay. Yeah, but did they ever try to use those angles? Like, because it seems like yeah. when people date in the battle rap world, it's like everybody knows about it. They know all the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> you be like, damn, yeah. I knows. mean, they still they still try to use those angles with whoever you know. what I'm saying, and then they'll add bodies. They'll add bodies on. So would that deter would that deter you from actually like let's say something organic came along would that deter you from being like nah i don't even want to do it because of that or would you be like fuck it It really fucked up a lot of sh shit you know what i'm saying like because people like i was dating somebody and he believed the shit niggas was saying in battle rap oh. and he wasn't no battle rap fan so oh, so so, like, fuck so, oh, so, so a regular nigga like I fuck, fuck with a regular nigga. He, he was like, I don't fuck with that shit. Why is nigga saying you fuck him and this, this, that? Like, nigga took that shit to heart. And I'm oh, like, that nigga oh, lame in no. a bitch. This is just, this is just battle rap. He don't understand that shit. No, them bars were too detailed. Yeah. So when did it happen? And, like, I know you fuck with him because she said, I'm like, no, that's a fake angle. What's an angle? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas don't want to hear that shit. Talking about it's an angle. Nigga, what is you doing? What is you doing? Standing for that shit. <laughs> so that it really fucked up a lot of shit. So moving forward, like I would just keep it real low key, cause like I don't want to really, I don't want battle rap to fuck up, or I would need the person to understand battle rap completely. Yeah, you gotta, no. understand. Uh, yeah, you gotta no, understand, I understand it. Understand that. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole different world. No. It is a whole different world. Do you have to be careful about who you date, just because if it comes up in battle rap? Oh, you nigga, you jating the trash man. <laughs> like, do you have to stay away from certain? Oh, do you have to stay away right. from certain profession? He overnight stocking. I, I pulled up to the McDakies. He's at the window. You know what? That's crazy. Pull up a picture, nigga. I got. I got no picture. 
<laughs> in the third grade, he's, 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 I used to bully your man. Right. 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 You have to watch out for that. <laughs> hey, like, no. I, like, real shit, how much shit do y'all be finding out real time? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, we know everything about each other. Oh, okay. Battle okay. rappers. Okay. Our lives, like, within the battle rap community, like, our lives are so open. Like, and... You have to have a ter- certain type of respect for your opponent to be like, okay, I'm not going to say this this time. But, like, people know shit. You know, we've been in this shit for years. They've seen us grow up. They've go- seen us go through our hardships, our good times, our everything. So, of course, you know, niggas going to have shit to say. But <laughs> I, if I dated a dude, yeah, I'm going to keep it on the low because I don't want him to be in a battle. And he'd be like, why the fuck was I in your battle? What if he felt some type of way about being low? Like, damn, you ain't going to post me? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, for your own good, for your own that's sanity. That's what I told. You know what I'm saying? When well, they take the picture of you at work, nigga. You yeah, yeah. didn't understand. Unless you want to be in this, unless you want to be in my next battle, then come on. But if you're not ready for that, then no. Yeah. But I would, I would post my my nigga. I mean, I don't got a nigga, but I post me. What's something you thought was a secret that came out in the battle? Like, like I didn't think nobody knew. I, 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 how did you find that out? Like, how'd you know I had the measles when I was seven? No, um, I want to say it was none, none that like came out for real during a battle. It was more so um, I was just confused during the battle because the bitch had a, a like a she. What is it called when you write against the, what the fuck the person say? Uh, it's uh, like not. It's it's not a rebuttal, but it's counter writing. Yeah. She had a lot of counterwritten for my material. Oh, shit. Oh. So in my head, I'm like, who the fuck I said my rounds to? You know what oh, that was my, ne- my that was that my next. That shit pissed me off because by the she would have she would have her counterwritten and she would say it before I'd even get to my bar. So by the time she would say it, she, they would hear it, then I get to mine, and they'd be like, I already heard that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was very confused after that battle. I, so, I had to step back from a lot lot of people. So that's so you had some moles in your like. I just don't know who still. That's crazy. It was everybody. Probably. So you so you to. do be spitting your bars to certain people. I, like I used to. Oh. I used to. Then I realized that shit was fucking me up. Now I only got like I, I won't spit my shit to nobody for real. So how do you gauge? How do you? Cause my, I you know I used to rap and you know you want to get that. Try to see if it's gonna really get that reaction. How do you gauge that now? I spit it to like one person. That's it. <laughs> but but it's really in my head like ah oh, yeah it's gonna hit <laughs> that's Look. what I be like but if if not if I don't feel that way then I know niggas not gonna like it like yeah. I can I can say something and somebody be like that's not hard and I'm in my head I'm like that's hard fuck you talking about yeah. and I go say it and the niggas is cheering you know what I'm saying so it's really my discretion for real. Now I want to go back to that SM tournament where you just kind of was you were going crazy in that bitch. Do you feel like because I, I almost feel like I watched Smack go, oh fuck, who is this? Like yeah. it seemed like they was finding out real time how hard you was. What 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 was that for you going through that tournament? I want to say they definitely nobody expected me to go that far. Um, I fucked up a lot of people's brackets, and yeah. I don't think that Smack thought I was going to be in the final four. I don't think that nobody over there thought I was going to be in the final four. You know what I mean? So it was very surprising. And every time that made it um, a shock value, you know what I'm saying? Like, because that's what made made me the star because it's like, oh, nah, she about to come get smoked. Yep. Then it's like, nah, she not getting smoked, bro. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it was like I was competing against that narrative, myself, my pen, plus my opponent. You know what I'm saying? So nobody in this bitch think I'm going to win already off the rip. Like, you can feel underdog, the energy. Underdog. When I got on stage with Twerk, nobody thought I was going to win that shit. No, at all. And even afterwards, they praised him after choking. And I was like, Which y'all niggas weird. got me fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I said that. I walked off because I was like, that's confused. That's weird. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But at that, when I felt that energy, that's when I was like, okay, fuck everybody. I'm about to just go crazy. You know what I'm mm. saying? And so that's when Smack was like, oh, she's showing, she's showing that females can keep up with men. And that's when he called me to face. And I feel like that's when my stardom really begun. So if they could start, you know, let's say battle rap, start taking gambles for battle rap. Like you start gambling in battle rap and therefore you have to have a winner. What would you say could uh, let someone win? Like what categories or what, 
What would you like to see it being uh, measured by, like, uh, you know? It's um, it's a lot. Um, performance. Um, I, if, are you talking about like a resume or just yeah, like a, a resume? Like, if if they were to start grading battles, like this person actually won. Damn, what the comments say. Okay, so what would you, you, you use? You want to um, do a bar count. You want to see how many bars um, were in each round. Their performance, their material, um, uh, their their punch. What is it like? Punch port. I don't know. Whatever. Um, how many times they punch, stuff like that, and just their stage presence and, and their engagement with the crowd. I feel like all of those play a big part in winning a battle. So you would just grade that if you wanted to put it on a grading system. Sometimes you could win a battle in one round. You could have right. the biggest reaction of the entire battle and nobody give a fuck about the battle no more. They just care about that reaction. You know right. what I'm saying? Because we could talk about the seatbelt not buckling up. Y'all remember who Tay Rack was battling? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't exactly. Remember. Fuck. You remember the moment Damn. though. I so remember he the moment. won the battle. That's what I'm saying. Like that's what I'm saying. So like it, it's just that could all, be a knockout. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just all just depends. But, but like I'll give you an example: chess versus easy to block captain. I mm. think that was as close to a tie as I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. How do you grade it when two niggas are just they both did their best shit in they style? Like it's just two different styles, classic. but it's you like you call it a classic. Yeah, you call it a classic. No winner, no loser. Maybe I guess. So classics be the goal for real, because then that replay value is incredible. So what do you feel about, you know, when men go against women and men being able to use the word, you know, bitch? Uh, body bitch. Yeah. Like, like yeah. Like, do you feel I like mean, that's a cheat code? Because it seems like that no. word alone saying it to a woman, it seems like it just gets uh, automatic. Like, ooh. No, I don't think so. I think that we know what we be stepping into. You know what I'm saying? And us calling the nigga a bitch is the same thing. I feel like it might not hit as hard because we don't have as much behind you know what I'm saying? Projection behind our right, shit. Like, but I don't feel no way when a nigga says bitch or some shit like that because I'm coming to disrespect you too, for sure. Okay, okay. So, oh my God. I think the meanest thing I probably said was a verb. Oh, Mr. Aver. What'd you say, Aver? I that question earlier. Yeah, I said, um, I got so many straps, look like you walked in your mother's room. <laughs> Damn, bro. That was mean. I was mean to verb. Damn, bro. Yeah. Shit. Okay, okay, yeah. god damn it, god damn it. I was damn. definitely third for body of the year last year. Ah, shit, god damn it, god damn it. <laughs> but, yeah. I like it, I like it. Now, I want to ask you, Um, you know, uh, we had Cassidy in here. He just gave us a dope, a dope, dope, dope uh, interview and a freestyle. And you see situations like Joe Budden jumping in the ring, uh, Cassidy jumping in the ring. Would you like to see more mainstream artists come back to the battle rap world? Oh, yeah, are they fucking it up for if people? If they're going to come, I'm not going to lie. We 1,000%. If y'all coming with a bag, come with a bag because we we going to take it. You know what I'm saying? Like, But as far as like coming into the world, why? You don't need to. Cassidy, Cassidy, he, he's in the world. You know what I'm saying? He was a battle rapper from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? So like, was Joe Button though? Uh, I don't know. Like, I feel like if it's not your thing, then just leave it alone. Mm. But Joe Button has been there in support of battle rap for a long time. Yeah, he came in and support of. But like, if you're a mainstream artist, that's what we are aspiring to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you're coming to this culture, at least bring one of us back over there with you. You know what I'm saying? Don't that's just come over here and battle, get our money. Yeah, hop on a song because, or something. Yeah, yeah. C -c -c let one of us get a feature so we can make some money too. Because you taking away the bag from the battle rappers when you take when you're a mainstream artist and you come in to come on our platform. So, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so Cassidy said he got like 250. You know what I'm saying? See? So, That's what I'm saying. So, like, like when y'all, when you, when you hear that at the house, when you're at the house and they get, yeah, every got battle rapper is like, what? What the fuck? What the fuck is you talking about? You know how many times I, my loyal, everything, you're running down your list on like, why the fuck this nigga get this and I get that? We get it, your name. But at the same time, you come over here, you make 250, bring one of us over there and let us make that yeah, same type of money. You there know what you I'm go. Saying? I see like, what you mean. That's if, to make it fair. To that, make it fair. That's true. That's true. You know true. what I'm saying? And I'm not no, and it's not really no bitches from the industry that's trying to come and be battle rappers. So that's not really my lane. I'm just speaking for niggas right now. But like, if a bitch did come over here, I'd feel away. Like, what is you doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so 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 what do you feel? Yeah, yeah. What, what do you feel about what do you feel about Babs Bunny and Remy Ma adding their adding their you know support to the women that. You know, the Queen of the Rings, um, Chrome well, 23s. Well, Queen of the Rings, shout out to them. That's where, after DFW, that's where I um, was at, Queen of the Rings, yes, in New York. Had a lot of battles there. Um, Babs, 
day one, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Always in support of ladies. Give it up for the ladies, you know what I'm saying? So like, and also watching her on making a band, yeah, and yeah. her being a battle rapper, Born, like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Going back and forth, um, and shit like that. I think the girl name was China at the time, yeah. but. That was like, I felt like Babs was a celebrity when I first met her. You know what I'm saying? She is a celebrity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like my, my starstruckness done calmed down a little bit, but Babs is, you know what I'm saying? I love her and what she's done for female battle rap because there was a time she was the only female the only, doing anything yeah. for female battle rap. You know what Facts. I'm saying? I feel like Remy came in and she enhanced it a little bit because she came in at a time where female battle rap was, you know, in a in a valley. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so she came and she, you know, put us on. And I respect her a lot for that because, you know, I don't know if Remy Babs have their differences or whatever, but they both did what they needed to do for females in battle rap. So... Would you like to see like the more mainstream, the Erica Badu's, the uh, the um, flower trees, or whoever, just coming back to just be present for yeah. female battle rappers? Yeah, I, I would love for that because I feel like female battle rappers and battle rap in general is just so influential. Like oh, we're the rawest form of like writing and and shit like that. And I feel like to be able to showcase that in front of those type of talents would get us a lot further. Right. Now, I want you to take me through whenever you saw Smack. We've all been watching Smack from, <laughs> from the battle on the street. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you see him link up with Caffeine, and it seemed like the company just went to a whole different level. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Take us through that when, when the battle rapper seen that. Did y'all was like, oh, shit, we're about to get a bag. Yeah. When we saw they were signed for, what, 11 million or uh, 111 million? Oh, one they signed for hundred and eleven million. I think then that's how do y'all be knowing these numbers? Y'all be knowing all came out. <laughs> that it came out. Shit. You don't remember when Twerk was like, I heard you made where my money at. Oh like, yeah, when he tapped pocket yeah, when he check. His pockets. Yeah, when yeah he tapped pocket. we was all like, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> niggas got more money than they letting us believe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So after that, everybody was trying to jump on that shit. Like in battle rap, it's waves. Like you go through sponsorships, you go through different eras, like I said earlier, and right then and there was the caffeine. And, you know, that's coming to an end, you know what I'm saying? But, like, everybody who jumped on that shit was, like, making that their job. So, like, it changed a lot of battle rappers' lives. So, for Smack to, to, to you know, be in business with Caffeine and everything like that, it, it changed the whole game. Niggas wasn't even trying to beef no more. Niggas was living good. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got time to beef. They sent my check. You know what I'm saying? Look, we could, it's, it's, that's when it started being more like theatrical. Right. Niggas stopped believing what people were saying because it's like niggas not even really arguing. We just trying to fake argue so we could get a bag right quick. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so that changed Smack and URL feeling. In my in my yeah. opinion, so when caffeine came in, you know that's when Luke was saying, "Oh, it's getting gentrified, shit like that." Right. I feel like that just changed the feeling in battle rap a little bit. It still has that excitement, but for the people that were fans from the very beginning, you don't feel the same. And it has a lot to do with the battles being um, with like the new fans and the new people who don't know nothing about battle rap, but they just like in the comments, the voting, the who won, who did who didn't win, shit like that. So it's a lot of different aspects that came in when caffeine came in. So, yeah. But wouldn't that, isn't that better than it being like, everybody's so hungry and dangerous? Yeah. <laughs> in my opinion, it's much better for it, but for the consumers, Nah, they want they want that violence. They like, wait, hold on. I want to see Surf and Hitman fight. Yeah, kill him. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Dying. So what are your thoughts on Nunu Nels? I love Nels. I, I love Nels. Ass, yeah, it's like, man, it's like she's a bar. She's a bar. It, she's because, such a bar. Because it's battle rap. What I told y'all earlier, when you're pretty what? Yeah. Oh, they they, just, they just mad. Like, they just they, they just mad because she looks good. Why are y'all mad? Yeah, she's a bar, okay. man. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I feel like she holds down you're real good. I I I love Nels. So what do you feel about the double standard when like niggas say some, you know, some sus suspect shit, niggas be like, pause, nigga, no, Ew, what? But when females say suspect shit, they clap that shit up. Hey man, it is what it is. <laughs> See, <laughs> clap, clap, thank you. The fuck? <laughs> I need that. Yeah. Oh, shit, it is what it is. Look, that ain't for me to, you know It's, a, it's a good double standard. <laughs> now, now you just mentioned, cause you, all, you had a show on Caffeine mm -hmm. at one point, right? Do you still, is that still going down? No, it's not. It was Shots with KCJ. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Right. I, I, we stopped that last month. Okay, got you. Okay, so you were saying that 
the uh, URL and caffeine is going away? What, what's, what's um, so just recently, caffeine decided to like um, only work with, they cut, let me put it this way, they cut 90% of battle rappers. What? 90% of battle rappers that were in, in partnership with them, they cut. Oh, wow. So that leaves like three. Oh, shit. Wait, so, <clears throat> how, okay, so when, you know, you being somebody who battles on Smack and all, and URL and Caffeine, like, what would you say was the biggest blessing with that? That Were you getting paid substantially more, or is it just a little bit more, or is it just the nice. exposure? Like, what was the, the big... <clears throat> Like being in contract with caffeine? Yeah. Oh, that was my job. Like that was like I didn't have to do nothing else. Oh, that's loud. Yeah. So for so, so the way that shit happened, they like let us know a month before, and you like wait, hold on, what? You are like oh, okay. Oh, so so then, niggas then, just found out. Yeah, like, niggas just oh. found out, and then y'all saw Geechee went live and was like, oh, y'all got caffeine problems. I feel bad for you. You know what I'm saying? I got 99 wow. problems. Caffeine ain't one. Oh. Like, hold on, my nigga, you fuck, you say, I'm saying? Hold on, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know if other people felt like that, like, felt a way, but, like, battle rap is battle rap. But at the same time, caffeine was a lot of our livelihoods, in a, in a sense. So, it is what it is, you know, you move on to the next thing, next back, see what comes next. Who do you think is coming next? Because I'm not going to lie, I felt like that was almost like the perfect marriage. You know what I'm saying? Watching free battles for at me, the crib. For me, shit, TV, Netflix, shit like that. I can't tell, I can't say for everybody else, but I know, like... Last year I was on VH1, you know what I'm saying? So I've been doing acting classes, I've been doing everything. It's all about branching out and doing more than just battle rap. So, you know what I'm saying? Getting in the studio, doing doing all of that type of shit. So for me, that's what I'm focusing on. Let's talk about this URL documentary. Cause I, I did see that on your page. I seen you look like yeah. a, it was a clip going crazy and you was going crazy. Oh, um, what is the URL documentary that's gonna be on Netflix? Yeah, okay, so talk um, to us about I'm that. not sure if it's going to drop later this year or early next year, but basically <clears throat> it's a documentary on the, you know, the story of Smack DVD into URL, into the era we're in now, and they decided to follow, you know, female battle rap, and they included me and Miss Hustle in the story. Yeah. So basically we, you know, told our story, we rapped for them, um, they followed us around for some time. Um, they caught us at different events, stuff like that. So I have been filming since last October and we just wrapped last month. So that was um, dope. yeah, that was dope. It was dope for them to pick me because <clears throat> we went through interviews um, from the Netflix producer. So URL didn't pick who they wanted in the movie. They had to say so, but the producers were the last ones to, you know, be like, yeah, we want them That's to. That's real. And they decided to. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Really? Yeah, bring it in. Yeah. But um, so they they picked us, and the story was the face versus the first lady. And they I don't know how they're gonna put it together, but I'm sure it's gonna be fire. They already started editing and everything like that. So we gonna see, you know, what they cooking up. And I'm glad, you know, Netflix got involved because you know me and Hustle been calling each other out for about three three years now. So this, oh, yeah. is this a real battle, or is it like a stage battle? Is it? No, it was a real battle. Oh. So we did write for each other. Um, it was a one rounder though, so hopefully we can run it back for three. Okay, yeah. hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Wait, so, is it, so what is the like? What is it about? You say it's a documentary, or is it a movie? Is it like acting? It's a, it's a documentary, so it's a movie leading up to a battle. And and the battle is just cause so JC versus Surf is in the battle. I mean, in the movie as well. So like they picked who they wanted you to. JC versus Surf. Yeah, y'all y'all ain't seen that battle. I have yeah. not seen that battle. Yeah, I've seen the battle. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's yeah, happening. yeah. So, oh, so okay. I'm just speaking for the women's side. Oh, okay. that's what they decided to cover. So everything oh. else is going to be male predominant. Like it's going to be like, you know what I'm saying? But they covered me and hustle. I don't know how they're going to work that in the documentary. Right, 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 right. But basically, my story is I came up during the COVID era. Her story, she came up at the beginning of, you know what I'm saying? First lady, shit like that. Right. And. They gonna put it all together, so we gonna see. But no, it was no acting. It was nothing like that. Like it was all just like they got us signing contracts. Shit, it was. It was. You know what I'm saying? It was like real life. They just followed us with cameras. That's crazy. Yeah. Man, speaking of surf, man, he just pled guilty, and they're mm -hmm. saying that he might face up to 30 years. And you know, for me, he's like, again, he was one of the first people that I seen that was bad. I actually got caught on to him with the music. They right. used to play music before the battles, and that's how I actually <laughs> heard his music. And I actually became a fan of his music before the battles. But what does that feel like in the battle rap community when you see somebody that talented get hit uh, with a Rico? It don't feel good at all. Like, it doesn't, 
there's nothing about that that feels good. Like, even though, like, we go at each other in battle rap, we're all still a big family. So it's yeah. like, I'm not going to say we losing surf because, you know, he's still 10 toes. He's solid. You know what I'm saying? But to for him to not be able to be in the culture, like, I know he wants to be in the culture, it's, it's hurtful to me. And, and I can only imagine how he feels, how his family feels. But I hate to see him go through that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I hate to see him to potentially have that much time. And I just could only send my prayers up and I could only, you know what I'm saying, best wishes. I, I spoke to him last month. You know what I'm saying? Was it last month? Probably a couple of weeks ago um, after my hustle battle. You know yeah. what I mean? He asked me how the battle went, shit like that. So he's in good spirits. And you know what I'm saying? He's going to hold his head high regardless of where he at. So yeah, shout man. out to Surf, Free Surf. Shout out surf. to Surf, man. Free you know Surf, saying? man. Free Damn it. Uh, one, of the, one of the ghosts. Yeah, yeah. and he always going to be, be one of the ghosts for sure. So. Man, God, we got yeah, to yeah. see our top five Surf battles. But, yeah. We got to post some. So speaking of the female battle rappers, I got to ask, you know, we um, in Texas, we, of course, we had the, uh, the battle rapper Robin Rhymes, who you battled. Um, you know, she, you know, fucked with real life and shit like that. I'm just curious, you know, she had a line for you in which was, uh, it was a rebuttal line of, um, I'm a collect call from a Ouija board. And then, you know, y'all did y'all thing. What are your thoughts as far as being a Texas girl and Robin Rhymes and her came, her come up in the game just for Texas alone? She like, man, fuck. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Um, of course. Um, I mean, it's that's too much for real. I mean, I feel like mm. <laughs> it's just, it's just, I'm trying to find something good to say. I cannot, I cannot I find the I, words. I, 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 I feel like at first, you know what I'm saying, with her coming up so fast because she won that tournament. She did. You know what I'm saying for Queen of the Ring. She got in the ring. I felt like you know what I'm saying. We we'll putting on for Texas. I feel like we're putting on for Texas. I would stay in communication with her. I would, you know, I'd be like, yo, after we battle, we could do a two on two. After we battled, she she felt like I set her up. Like on some personal shit or? She felt like everybody supported me from Texas and nobody supported her. And oh. she felt like I set that up. But it was really not set up. These was really my peoples. You know what I'm saying? Before yeah. you won that tournament. So for you to think that niggas was gonna like come on your side is crazy. You should have brought some niggas from Texas too, or some niggas from the South as well. You know what I'm saying? We main evented, we had a great battle. I feel like she did good. Um, after that battle, she hated me. I mean, I won the battle. After that battle, she hated me. Yeah, so, you, you glue up. You know I mean, what your saying? glow up since then has been ugh. So like, I feel like if we all came together, you know how much money we could make? Yeah, that's why I look at it. Cause I look at that um, official. Uh, with you and her battle, I'm like, you know, y'all are, y'all are killing niggas, yeah. And it's a thing to come through this game and start killing niggas in their own sport, to where I feel like, you know, the respect is finally getting there, and hopefully this Netflix documentary, you know, takes it to the next level. Because when people from the outside world look at battle rap, they don't think women talking to each other. But what I will ask you is this: um, What do you feel about the concept of, um, I guess, what we call like theme battle raps? Uh, we used to always joke around talking about, hey, man, they should actually pull out, you know, real, uh, I say weapons, but like real like shit to kind of go with the bars. You see on you see on YouTube, catch up versus mustard. Yeah, real props. Catch up versus mustard. Uh, mustard. I seen the, um, what was it, Shuni? Who with uh, husband versus wife. Those are dope themes that I'm like, that could sell. What are your thoughts on running like themes? With battle rap, like, nah, we're gonna actually put this I think theme. That, yeah, I think that's fire. It's already selling for real. I was just um, in paid partnership with um, uh, Kraft. They were like, Are you cheese is, serious? Cheese? Cheese was battling each other, like Feta versus <laughs> what the fuck else? Cheddar. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they was battling each other, like tapping in, tapping out. Yeah, that's lit. I was like, okay, shit. You know what I'm saying? So, they they've been doing that. My son will be on on YouTube. It be Spider Man versus Batman yeah, like, battle rap. It be video games. I be like, hold on, my they probably getting, Call of Duty. you know what I'm saying. And that's why I'm like, yo, we're influ influencing a lot of people, and nobody right. is really recognizing that. So it's like you got to really take control yeah. of your content, or if you like, just let it. And a lot of people don't know, like you could really like um, monetize your words. Yes. 
like copyright yeah. your words, even though it be in a battle, you could go monetize that shit and make your money off of that. It's just, especially so somebody won't take it, especially if you're up and coming. Yeah. Cause these top two, they might take. Uh. How many, how many of these battle rapper niggas do you think is using the AI software? Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. Hey man, run me some bars on KC. Uh -uh. You think you think you think somebody using the AI? Man, it just fuck came yeah, out. somebody hitting it, huh? Nah. If you ask if you ask AI, write me some gun bars. Trust me, it's gonna yeah, come. It's it, you think uh -oh. AI knows the gun bars? Man, listen. They can't com make it complex like how we do it. Jeez. They no. I t I talk to AI. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's how I know. <laughs> I, know I tried it. I said, hey, yo, AI. You know what I'm saying? You could write me some, you know what I'm saying? Write me some three rounds. That shit was ass. I was like, oh, no. You know what I'm saying? I tried it. That's that version 1.0. That that's that version 1.0. Yeah, that's that 1.0. I got to pay for that. You got to get that pro version. Nah, I tried it for real. I'm not even going to cap to you. I tried it. I was like, let me see what this is about. Because somebody told me to do it. I did it. I was like, nah, this is ass. They're going to forever need battle rappers. Damn, yeah. But see, they that's how y'all, that's where y'all come in. Y'all yeah. all over the AI shit. That's going to exist. Exactly. They're going to forever need us. Because even if, even if they don't, they still going to need us. Yeah. Because they still going to need us. Because they still going to need us. Because they still going to need us. Because even if, even if they did write some shit, it's just the way that we be thinking that is, you can't computerize that shit. Mm -hmm. You can't computerize that. Like you can't make, it's, it's too creative for somebody to duplicate or for a computer to duplicate it the way that we be, you know, the way that we be writing and, and delivering our shit. So yeah. Yeah. Is, is there any battles outside of your own that you're actually looking forward to? I feel like one of the problems with battle rap has been there's been so many battles and there's like they don't build up to anything anymore like there's not you know this person you're anticipating these two people to battle each other mm -hmm. is there any battles you're actually excited to see Ooh, that's a great question um right now i mean i want to see a war a ward versus a verb i know they've been like building up the momentum to to battle each other i feel like <laughs> A war only loses to white people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I need A verb to go smoke that nigga right quick. That's it. How was it when you battled A verb? Because you smoked him. And I was kind of disappointed. Crazy. I was like, damn, A verb. I was very confused on what was happening. <laughs> like, I was so nervous leading up to that battle because, you know, he was my goat. Yeah, but then idols in the battle, become rivals. I would have become rivals in the battle. I was like, man, fuck this shit, bro. This is stupid. Like, I was really like expecting him to do way better than what he did. Yeah. And I feel like I could have did way better than what I did too. So I feel like the battle was just like kind of mediocre, but. Mm. Are you a fan of gun bars? Yeah. You heard me rap? Yeah, I heard you rap. I'm just yeah, saying I'm, when you see, when you see it every day, not. every day, like, the, you know, it's crazy because sometimes it gets too, too egregious. Yeah, but, when you have too many gun bars, it's, it's like, bro, come on now. Like, yes. Put some, put some more creativity <laughs> behind your shit. That's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, because it's not even the gun bar. The gun bars get you to you to where you going. Facts. That's yeah, not even sets it what, up, yeah. yeah, that's not even what be like the land landing moments or shit like that. Like it'd be deeper than that. So like gun bars are kind of lazy. Gun bars, current events, shit like that, lazy. Oh uh, man, the current. Oh, okay. I yeah. like your opinion. Like Jerry Springer just died. Oh, the, yes. For, so to use that. To use that, everybody's gonna use it. Everybody can think of it. Uh, All right. So let, let let and let's keep it real, right? Who is the most complex writer? In the game right now. Uh, Complex lo Looks. loaded, loaded. You want to say that, but but I want to say, say active. Oh, active. active. I want to say um, definitely got to be Rum Nitty. Yeah, Rum Nitty goes crazy. Rum Nitty. <laughs> He says some. I put your machine behind him like record deals. That's crazy. Shit. Shit. So so, what are your thoughts when you see like um you know when the BT ciphers. Uh, is grabbing more battle rappers to come in and make the ciphers better than versus uh, you know current artists or you know name name mainstream artists. It makes sense. It yeah. makes sense. I, I feel like battle rappers been in the cipher for some years now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, it makes a lot of sense. I heard when the battle rappers go, they just go smooth through their shit like one time go, and then like when the mainstream artists go, they be like there all day trying to get through they. That's what I heard though. So I'm just saying like we're just. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, sounds like, sounds like a, that's what I heard. Nah, Listen, that's what I'm art. just saying. We're easy to work with. Book me. <laughs> facts, facts. I want to be in the BET cipher too. The fuck, yeah, man. Come on, let's make it make sense. You know what I'm let's, saying, um, man, you be you pull your mom out on uh, you know, some of your battle. Like th to do that, you must know, like, hey, man, uh, you know, 
there's there's no strategy against this. I'm gonna just show y'all what it is, you know what I'm saying, and have your mom come on the battles. Is that just more her wanting to be there or you just wanna support, you know, her have have her support there? Um at first I was just like, I know this will get a reaction and I just had her come in. Like that was like my third battle, fourth battle. I wasn't really like thinking it was gonna be a thing. But after I saw how people reacted to my mom supporting me and jumping in my battle, I was like, yeah, we gonna do that. We gonna run it back. We ran it back two different times. And my mom, she loved battle rap too. At first it took her some time to get used to it, but she, she yeah, she rhymed for sure. So she's like, she know more about battle rap than me right now. That's real, that's real. <laughs> and for the up and coming battle rappers that's coming in the world, give them some tips of what they could do to not choke to remember their bars, three rounds. Um, like, do you practice right before, Dave? Like, how much practice? Like, give so, us some tips to, like, not choke on your Um, Recite your rounds 50 times. In front of people? Or maybe just do a solo donut? By yourself, in the car, in the shower, everywhere you at. Say it over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Because you, you could think you know that shit. But then you get up there, they react like, ah, I don't know my shit. Or mm -hmm. you get up there and you just spit in like you reading that shit. You have no personality. That's true. You have no charisma. You have no sh nothing. So if you don't know your shit like the back of your hand, don't even try. You know what I'm saying? Like, so go. And the only way you'll know it is if you run through that shit 50 times or more. So like, or another one is don't write it down. Just wrap it. Just wrap it. So like you start your first round. I, I got four bars. Let me add this next four. Oh, that sound crazy. Let me put that here. Oh, let me move it. it and then it's a puzzle in your head. You now go. it's like embedded. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So if you do it that way, then okay. But if you have to write it down, I would say write it on paper. Don't really write in your phone, shit like that. Or if you're going to write in your phone, write it after you write it on paper. Yes. But it's all about memorizing your shit because you are still a personality. You still got to be up there and you still got to show them personality and be able to just not think. It's like tunnel vision. If you forget your bars mid round, what is probably too, too much, too, fuck, too fucked up? How far, how many bars back can someone go to try to remember this shit again? Like, you say four, eight bars back? Like, nah, hell, now nah, you ain't gonna repeat the eight whole Eight bars shit. back is crazy. That's a lot. That's a, you go <laughs> eight bars back, niggas. You know all that. Back? We help you. Can I see the niggas start all the way over? All the way over. Halfway done. Like, yeah, nah, I've seen bro. that too. <laughs> niggas miss one minute 30. You start eight bars back, niggas is helping you in the crowd. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You get hit that, they like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I feel like eight bars is way too much. Four bars, maybe, Four bars. if you forget your shit. But normally people grab their water or... And what about the man back there whispering to him? Like, hey, man, some people... Whatever you need. Whatever you need. They be, like, trying to help. I, I feel like that's just part of the team. You know what I'm saying? So, but, yeah, <laughs> eight bars is too much. What did you think about the Daylight era when he was just going to bad battles to purposely lose? <laughs> like, right, grabbing Daylight this was nigga so around. gimmicky, <laughs> but it worked for him. That was crazy. He this came as a white man. He came with <laughs> tattoos on his face. He came in a wig. Like, bro, you shit it too? Like, come on now. Shit like, he was so gimmicky, and he, he still kind of is, but he already is who he is. But in, the in that time, it was like... You, yeah, he was bringing attention to battle rap, and it was crazy to watch. And we all looking at him like he crazy, but he was ahead of his time. He was ahead of his time. He did all that shit in the internet era for real, because back then it, we wasn't really on the internet like that. But that shit was going viral every time. And then he would make the music videos. Yeah, <laughs> like, daylight. Oh, hey man, shout out to daylight though. He did what he had to do. <laughs> and then, and then, and then. The and then there was the Arsenal situation where he had his own battle rap league. I thought his battle rap league was going to be the one to compete with Smack. I don't know what the fuck happened to him. Yeah. But his shit did, the footage was great. Like the shit that he had dope battles. What is that when these people start different battle rap leagues and it seems like they'll start it up and then it just falls off? Um, what was the other one? Uh, the one in Chicago. Uh, JC versus Clips was on there. G Guerrilla Warfare. Um, Black Ice. Ooh. Man, yeah, there was some man. battle rap leagues that it seemed like they had yeah. a lot of promise and then they just like, they just. You know what? I think maybe it has a lot to do with like these leagues <sighs> having talent and then the best talent being pulled out the league to like go to the NBA. Right. Now it's like, 
ah, who we working with. That's right. So that might be a reason why some of these leagues don't last as long because you could get hot off you dub. You can have a hot battle and you are real called like, yo, I want to sign you three, three bat, you know what I'm saying? Da da da. You like, I'm coming, my nigga. Right. Yes. Now you dub looking like you can't battle over here. Like, so it's like maybe that. And maybe they just can't compete with, you know what I'm saying, the the other leagues. I, I don't know. I ain't never, you know, started a league and, and know what it takes. So I'm only guessing or trying to, like, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. maybe. But but again, and I've even recorded you in Houston. You know, mm-hmm. shout out Scotty, shout out Beretta. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you versus Hemi. That was a body. That was a body. Um, Definitely. Definitely a body. Yeah. But, but it, it seems like artists rap different in different leagues, too. They do. Like, like what is that? Is that a strategic thing too? It's like, about how much money you got paid. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's what it's Cassidy really about, said. Cassidy it's, said it's, that. Like, really, it's, that's what you it. pay me is what percentage I it, give exactly. you. Exactly. That's what it is. What you pay me is what you get, bro. That's it. Damn. And when you go to a smart league, you kind of sometimes are taking a pay cut. You're either taking a higher pay or you're taking a pay cut. But when you're battling on URL, that's your biggest check. Let's not mm-hmm. lie. So you don't want to lose your biggest check. So every time you're on URL, you're going crazy. You're sweating. You can't breathe type shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Ooh. But when you go to, and no disrespect, this is just real. You know what I'm saying? When you go to another league, it's like, okay, y'all pay me this. This is what y'all going to get. Because yeah. why so not? I'm going to give y'all what y'all get. But do you, does it doesn't even matter the opponent you're going against in the smaller league? Like Yeah, like it do matter because sometimes like you could get a pay cut, but the person you're going against is hungry. Yeah. And it don't, it's, that's when your pride kick in. That's yeah. when the passion kick in. Like, oh, ain't no, this bitch ain't going to beat me. You know what I'm saying? Right. So like, I got a battle coming up, um, and it's against an up and comer, up and coming female. Of Can't course, you. she wants to take my spot. Yeah. I'm not about to be like, oh, I'm a, you know, I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna go crazy on this little girl. <laughs> Have you ever been to a smaller league and just seen some talent? Like, oh shit, this motherfucker like need to be on the big stage. Uh, yeah. Definitely. So do y'all, y'all put the word in, like, hey, man. I be, yeah, I definitely put the word in. If anybody I fuck with, I feel like is hot, I'm gonna definitely say something. Like, yo, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna support it, support them, all of that. Who have you ever blocked a nigga? Like, man. <laughs> nah, hey, <bro>. make. <laughs> I never, I never. Nope, I ain't block. I don't block bags. Okay, there you go. There you go. Who would you say is um the female Matt Hoffa in battle rap? That's just that, that That's just exactly. yeah, just not just gonna go straight for you. Like, I will fight. QB, QB, <laughs> QB. That's real. <laughs> <laughs> you said the wrong shit. Is <laughs> we can really, man. Hey, we, I gotta ask: Was Tay Rock wrong in the bitch for running out? On, was Tay Rock on, wrong on Briz and them when they got to that fight? Was you there? No, I was not there. Okay. Was he wrong for? Was running he wrong out? in the bitch? Yeah, it seemed like he's wrong, man. Damn. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. And, and shout out Matt Hoffman, man. You know, he's doing great at the podcast and world, but man, when him and Sirius Jones in there, woo! <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit. I'm like, what, what the hell's going on? You know, he hit the nigga hard in the bitch. He did not drop. What the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> you need to sleep a minute. <laughs> sleep a minute. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> shout out Sirius Jones, too, man. You know, he, he, you know, he, he forever. He forever. Now, yeah, I, 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 I got to ask you, um, I got to ask you, uh, um, when it comes to Matt Hoffa, he mm-hmm. recently went at Charleston White. You know, Charleston White's a guy on this platform. Uh-huh. And Charleston White made the statement saying, like, when battle rappers say things, it's okay for them to say it. But when I say it just by talking, y'all got a problem with it. Do you feel like that's true? Like, where battle rappers can say the most egregious stuff, but because it's in the form of entertainment, it, it'll, be, it'll pass over? Yeah. Because they're not really going to do those things to people, but they're talking the most murderous, hellacious shit. Yeah. But when someone just says it, it probably isn't look, you know, he, he uses y'all as a reason for him to be able to say some of the shit he say. Is he a battle rapper? He is not. So if you want to be able to say what we say, become a battle rapper. Just like that. It's just like that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we deserve that shit. You know how much shit we got to stand in front of? So like that's that's ours to, to have. So it's a part of the craft. It's a part of the art. It's always been a part of it. We not changing that you know what i'm saying like if you want to say something just say it and stand on that don't blame us for wanting to say some shit say what you say and stand on it don't say oh well, better rap say it. i can say it no nigga say i said it i said it should a white man be able to say nigga in battle rap fuck no <laughs> did he get what he deserved heck yeah the fuck he got slapped 
The fuck? I, I ain't what he lie, said, I he like... said, you said I couldn't say the N word, but my nigga, right? Wow, wow my nigga, he should have got hit harder for real. I was tight because the slap was a little, you know, it was a punch. It was like, it was off. Could have knocked him out. I don't know. I, I watched a, I watched a black man really go through there with a, a, a white boy. I'm talking about three rounds of nothing but slavery bars. <laughs> oh, he's like, I'm talking about he talked. He talked about how your grandfather. <laughs> I mean, it was just okay. Was so the white deep. boy said the slavery bars. No, the black or the black boy said it. The black dude I mean, said it. I mean, and the white man. The white man was just standing there speechless. He was just like, it's a horrible, horrible. Either way, I don't Wait. know. I don't got. That's all on him. That's all on that white boy. So, what are your thoughts? Um, you know, John John. Right now is dealing with uh, having a battle leaked, you know. Oh, so, for real? Yeah, it's going on right now. Like, God damn, what do you feel about someone who like they say no phones, don't leak the battle, the businesses, you know, the businesses in the pay per view or whatever it's gonna be. But someone with a cell phone or someone just maybe even have extra the footage early leaks a battle where the business is not there. What are your thoughts on that? As far as just fuck, ah, this is sloppy. Mm, you know, what I mean, on the business side and business aspect. You definitely feel the way, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, damn, you put you invested into this and shit, and all all, all I want niggas to do is respect my shit. There you so go. I feel I feel that way. Um, as far as that goes, and for like the person who did it, I feel like maybe they just wasn't thinking or just did it just to for attention or oh, that's what shit like that, or like for the views or for the clicks. So it's unfortunate, but that's been happening in battle rap since the beginning of time, bootleg and shit. And put it and, out. And, and, and back in the day, I remember I always wanted to see that young girl versus conceited. How do you feel about battles that never come out? Mm, <laughs> the vaulted battles. Yeah. I'd be, I be mad because you want to see it. You got you had to be there to even know that shit existed. You know what I'm saying? So like, I don't like vaulted battles. And lastly, um, as far as for those that support battle rap, the fans out there where they're making names for themselves, like 15 minutes of fame. Uh, the other people who cover battle rap and do it uh, religiously and built a platform off of it. Um, any flowers you want to give to them? Because, you know, they, of course, get the app. You know, you see a battle, sometimes that was it. You don't know what they, but now they're putting cameras on them. They're following y'all to the club afterwards. They're, call, you know, calling you before the battle. Now there's face-offs. Right. Like, it, it's become business now as far as for the fans getting involved with Definitely. the actual artists. Um, okay, so first I want to say... You know, shout out to, you know, Hip Hop is Real, 15 Minutes of Fame, there you go. those platforms that do and are in, you know, the battle rappers face and, and, and getting those interviews that are much needed, getting those clips that are much needed, being that the battles are no longer on YouTube. Most of the main, main the battles main, yeah. are on YouTube. So, um, you know, shout out to them for that. But I feel like if, without without that, a lot of fans wouldn't know what was really going on. You know what I mean? As far as right now, but in the beginning and shit like that, I feel like we all built together. So it's, you know, shout out to the battle rappers that give content for these platformers, plat platforms to come and, you know, interview us and, and get our material and stuff like that. So I feel like it's, it's we all work together. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And if you could play any character on power, who would you be? Mm, any character on power? I want to be. Um, I can't. Can I be a? I, I got to pick a girl. No. I would be ah, Tariq. Go, <laughs> Junior. I'd be Tariq, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Thug it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thug it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, always school. walking, always running, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> shit. I'd be Tariq. Nah, for real, got, for real. You see, like, he got control. <laughs> man, it's crazy, man, because, uh, you know, folks that follow you, they know your history, but, you know, you may gain a lot of new fans off of this that may want to go follow your battles. Um, for the new fan that's watching this that may want to uh, catch your battle, uh, and see who you are and say, let me get the, let me get the face of who KCJ is. What battle would you lead them to for someone who's never seen you battle? Ooh, me versus Arsenal. Ooh, yeah, okay. I would definitely, yeah, me versus Arsenal. That battle, I feel like <clears throat> it showcased my skills as a rapper, as a battle rapper, and going against someone so disrespectful and so legendary. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I was real comfortable that battle. So I would definitely show them that one, me versus Miss Merck. Yes. would be a, a, the female battle I would show them because um, I was just going crazy that battle. So y'all could definitely go see um, me versus Miss Merck on YouTube. Um, 
and then me versus Arsenal on the URL app. You have to subscribe to the URL app to see the battle. And that's where I would lead them. But pretty much just type in KCJ versus and all of my battles on YouTube will come up. That's rock, man. Uh, and for those that do want to follow you just in general, um, what apps are you on? Uh, TikTok, uh, Instagram, yeah. Snap. Tell them how to follow you on all those platforms. All social media, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Real KCJ. Website realkcj.com. Kylie Pinner merch out right now. Um, yeah, so y'all can, you know what I'm saying, hit me, follow me, follow your girl, you know what I'm saying, the face, female battle rap. And any, any shout outs you want to give? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my family, URL. Shout out hey. to the Bardashian. Hey. Shout out to hey. the ring. You feel hey. what I'm saying? Shout out my mama. You know what I'm nah, saying? Damn, nah, for real. Shout out mama. Oh, my. Man, that's real, man. Real life street spots. Thank y'all for having me. No love, man. You already know what it is, man. We got her in the building, man. The Bardashian, man. Got that Kylie Peter. Already ready to bar you boys down. Man, for real, got a, got a battle coming up. She's ready to murk somebody, goddammit, man. KCJ, you are a real-life street star, man. We Thank salute. You. Hey.